Well, do you have trouble trying to decide what the difference is between an amphibian and a reptile? Well, don't feel too bad. Lots of kids do have that same problem. So let's see if we can clear this up. All right. First of all, amphibians and reptiles share a lot of things in common. There are some things they don't share. Let's talk about the, their commonalities first. First of all, they're both animals. They both have backbones, or they're vertebrates. They're cold-blooded, and they have bilateral symmetry. Now let's talk about amphibians. Well, amphibians are dual life animals. They spend a lot of time in the water and some time on the land. Uh, they're smooth skin. They lay their eggs in water. And uh, think newts, salamanders, frogs, uh, toads. And then let's talk about reptiles. Reptiles lay their eggs on land. They have scales that allow them to control uh, the amount of moisture that they lose. And um, think things like snakes, lizards, turtles, tortoises, and teratuas. All right, let's, let's look at some actual examples of the different kinds of creatures. Well, let's start out with amphibians. Here's a frog, and you'll notice that uh, he has smooth skin. He's well adapted for an aquatic environment. He has webbed feet. Um, and now let's look at some reptiles. Here's a snake. He's just a, basically a big long tube. He has a, he has a backbone. And uh, check out his head. This happens to be a rattlesnake and he's, he's a little bit on the stuffed side. He has stick, scaly skin. And then uh, let's look at their eggs. Okay, here are some amphibian eggs. They're very gelatinous. And inside there, you, you can see those dots. Those are the little embryonic uh, salamanders. And uh, now we'll look at some uh, reptile eggs. Now here's an example of a reptile egg. This one would be laid on uh, land, and uh, it's very leather-like. 